Welcome to your weekly reading. It is Monday, April the 26th. And we are looking oh, for our energy for this week. And we just received it. So for this week, today is a full moon full moon in Scorpio. We are in the second astrological cycle. We're in Taurus energy. So Taurus and Scorpio are opposites. So full moon, super full moon in Scorpio. So you may be feeling a more amplified energy. Now, big time, I feel this and I, anytime that there is a, a full moon, there's always a release and a need to release. So just for an example, and I, I found it very humorous and even throughout the day um, on Saturday, I did my Soul Adventure video and I, I pre-record them. Sometimes I go live and sometimes I pre-record. Well, I have been doing a lot of pre-recording so um, because it's just better for me. And works best for me so that's what I do I pre-record and I pre-recorded it on Saturday earlier on Saturday but there was a release that I had to make in order for everything to go flowingly so the issue that had happened was my storage on my phone and I looked up I watched YouTube I called Apple um, I went through all different actions because I took action and I finally came down to I had to remove um, a lot so that was a really good lesson for me as soon as and this was like most of the day had gone by when I had finally got it all working the way that um, well, I, the way that it was meant to. I was meant to release. I was meant to let go. Let go and then it will flow. And that's exactly what happened. The flow started right back up again. For me being a medium, I acknowledge right away, okay, I know that something has to happen and I know that there's a lot of changes and I know that there's a lot of evolving. And so for me being a Scorpio, that's my whole life is shifting, evolving, new beginning, shifting, ending, new beginning. It's always like constantly, constantly, constantly going, going, going. So this is something that I'm used to. I even had a conversation with someone and was talking about release and letting go. And it was just really funny because I found that through this, through this process that there was still more that I had to let go of and there still is more. So when there's that saying, and I know I've, I've posted it somewhere before, there's no growth in comfort. So when we feel comfortable, we should kind of be like, what's happening next. So <laughs> use this full moon to its full potential and full to your full advantage. Now with our weekly card, we have creativity and inspiration. So very, very exciting for when you release and now and then allow your creativity to flow or I mean always allowing your creativity and inspiration to flow and to and to, to um, manifest but what I'm saying is through that example that I just gave you and what we have for this card this week so today and tomorrow I guess it really depends on what time zone we're in because on my calendar it says the 26th but some people say it's the 27th as well it's the same. So we're still in that energy and it's very, very amplified. So allow yourself to take 
toll of what or take stock of what you what you where you currently are right now and what is it that you could potentially let go of and it doesn't make it doesn't have to make sense because there's things that I let go of that I was like wow I didn't even know I had to let go of that but the universe spirit God is shifting things for us and so when we let things go and we're like okay well I'm gonna let this go but I'm just gonna trust you and hope for the best and so and I with all of you are letting things go and I'm trusting I'm trusting the universe and I know that there's something really amazing and really magical that's going to happen so Taurus is um, governed by the planet Venus. So Venus is love and money. So, and it's, it's, um, it's earth. It's an earth energy, which is very pentacle money energy as well. So, um, very, very good, very, very awesome, good energy, um, for restructuring, I've been calling it as in my business and things that I'm going, um, going like doing, um, I'm restructuring my foundation. I'm always, as a Scorpio, I'm always restructuring, always trying new things, always seeing what works, what doesn't work. And it's just really, really, it's a very exciting and I love it. And I, it keeps me on the tip of my toes. And, and I really like that. <clears throat> there's that, there's that, um, that kind of risk feeling, but that that really exciting that you just want to go and see what happens. So I don't have my glasses with me right now, but I am going to read you the other side of this card. So creativity and inspiration for this week, creativity and inspiration, allow it to flow, allow it to flow and allow it to grow. And write down any of the things, the, all the creative things from your meditations, from when you're going for walks, from when things just pop into your noggin. Allow it to flow and allow it to grow. But be mindful that we do have to release a lot of things that we may not have thought we had to release. And this is a super moon. It's more amplified. If you have any questions about that, you can always book a reading with me. I have two readings. I have the uh, 15 minutes for um, $25, which is really perfect for entrepreneurs. Um, and that's a subscription, a monthly subscription. And then I also have my full 60 minute reading. Um, so you can contact me if you have questions or I mean you can just ask me questions and when I have time I can always get back to you so okay reading this card creativity and inspiration true inspiration comes from places that are not of this world our creativity flows when we are when we connect with the universal consciousness where ideas abound and nothing is impossible. It is when we trust, let go, and put our mind to rest. Inspiration shows us beauty, grace, and artistry waiting to be translated into the physical form. The ability to create something that didn't exist before is a power that is liberating and tremendously exciting. But at the same time, it teaches, it teaches us humility and to surrender. Surrendering is huge. Surrendering is massive. Surrendering is not a weakness. It is a strength. Let go, let, let's us, blah, 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 one second. Let's focus, <laughs> so many words, on the creative powers we already have. And let's feel how inspiration connects to our heart, to the ultimate or, 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 origin 
of grace and beauty. The affirmation. I am connected to all sources of inspiration. I use my own creative powers with joy, courage, and gratitude. Gratitude is massive as well. When you practice gratitude, you receive. It's so important. Gratitude, it just, it changes. It changes lives. It just shifts energies. It raises your vibration. It's absolutely amazing. So here's the card. Um, sorry for butchering some of the words. Um, I did, I did pretty good not having my glasses and it, it is, it's pretty blurry, <laughs> but, um, yeah. So creativity and inf inspiration. Pegasus. That just came. I was just trying to see if it's a unicorn, but I don't see a unicorn, but Pegasus. That's what came to me for the horse. And it looks like there is a full moon right here. And it just has that, that sign, that message for all of us. The creativity and inspiration. That's amazing. So I'll put the affirmation below and release. I will have a video later on for the full moon and um, release. Release, let go, and let your creativity and inspiration flow. Thank you very much. Mwah. Love you.